Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, and I apologize, the round of 16 apparently is best 2 out of 3 across the board. 12 o'clock location, we have Exit starting again as the Black Terran, bottom left-hand corner, we have Jiraiya starting as the Blue Zerg. This is on Ascension once again, which I'm wondering how that works, is it just 2 out of, anyway, I'm wondering if it's map choices and gentlemen's agreement and they just decided to do Ascension one more time. So game 1... I feel like Exit did a lot of things to put himself in a winning position. However, he had trouble, I think, keeping up with his macro, sp explicitly keeping up with his upgrades. And I think actually if he had uh, those armor upgrades in the midst of a lot of those fights and just repositioned the medic marines that were going to that 9 o'clock location, he might have been able to win that match out. But Jiraiya, showing why he is such a strong Zerg player, just macroing like a crazy man behind all of it. And I think that is his preferred play style where he kind of threatens sometimes doing uh, more aggressive all-in play or kind of presents that. But oftentimes, if you do not keep an eye on him, he will just just flood drones behind that. If Exit can catch him, if Exit can keep eyes, here's the thing. We know Exit from previous leagues, from Hasu League, or sorry, from Cho Chobo League following. He's a very adaptive player. So if he can keep eyes on that, he might find a window. And I think that's what he was trying to do in the, the previous game pushing out with a handful it was really kind of a small attack force it was what six marines a single medic i don't think i've ever seen someone attempt that standard timing exit doesn't do the standard timing attacks he just looks for opportunities and seizes them which has actually been a great strength up to this stage scv scout going to the bottom right hand base first it looks like this overlord is headed there as well so both players uh theoretically going to scout each other last it looks like we're seeing an overpool build here from Jiraiya this time he also went with that extractor trick to sneak additional drone kind of a not exactly a front door seal, and I'm wondering if this is going to be a... No, I think this is going to be a factory opener from Exit. He's already plopped down this refinery. He's going to have that barracks up. Now, here's the thing. Depending on how many Marines get built and how well they dance between buildings, which, keep in mind, Zerglings can fit through the same spaces that Marines can fit through, This is it's going to. I think there's going to be an SCV pull that's going to be required to defend this without SCVs blockading this line. And Exit starting to move out to try to scout this. So, unfortunately, I think just getting caught... Maybe he, if he can defend it. So Jiraiya seeing this, he's immediately pulling out. Exit again pulling resources to potentially drop a factory. He is putting a bunker down. So, okay, sees the, Marine, the, the Zerglings flooding through. Next question, will the bunker be in time? The drone trying to harass that initial SCV that's in production. SCV's pulling off the line, and this is going to be necessary. They're also showing gas. So this should be a big indication to Jiraiya as far as what he's up against. The bunker finishes. The Zerglings trying to position through. A lot of them getting blockaded by the SCVs. A nice defense by Exit. However, not a lot lost on Jiraiya's side. So yes, he lost a handful of Zerglings, but he still is going to have that natural expansion up. Is a little bit of a hit in the economy because it was Zerglings instead of drones. Supply Depot and a factory being built behind this. Let's see if Exit plops right back on gas uh, or not. But very shortly, he needs to... And this is going to be an interesting play from Dry. He's going to just... Wow. So he's just going to go three hatch interior and maybe try to build a Sim City. Now, seeing the gas in the hands of those SCVs, he has to have an indicator that this is, in fact, more of a... a probably, potentially a one 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 build. So there's the factory. There's the initial vulture. Let's see if he goes for the... Oftentimes what players will do is drop that creep colony to defend against vultures at the natural expansion and try to play from there. But look at this. Exit snuck an SCV out in the midst of this and he's going to go for a proxy starport and potentially go for a proxy vulture drop. So move the vultures up, check that front door. And if the Sutton colony's here and Zerglings are just blockading and it's nothing else, he's just going to drop directly into the main. And that could be very challenging, especially if Jiraiya does not opt to go for a Hydra build to follow things up. This could be absolutely devastating. So there's... The Marines actually going to pull out. They're going to try to press against the Zerglings on the front. I have to feel like Jiraiya should sense something. Mostly because usually with a standard 1-1-1 build, the Vultures will... You don't just send the pair of vultures out. You just send that first vulture as rapidly as possible. Two vultures now cycling out that natural expansion. The Zergling's going to go retreat. There's Jiraiya waiting to the last second to go ahead and drop that creep colony. And let's see if... Is Exit even going to present these vultures at the front? We do have Starport. And I thought it was going to be a drop. No, he's going to opt for Wraith at proxy. So I take it back. He's going to go ahead and build Wraith and use those to attack the Overlords at the main. The Hydral Sten is being dropped. That's an, Oh, man. I was actually hoping to see uh, potentially 
an interior base drop uh, to sneak these vultures in and get drones. So seeing that SimCity on the front, he's going to back off. The Wraith has managed to sneak in to the main. He's pecking away at drones here. Some Hydralisks should be there shortly. So as far as does this, and it looked like Jiraiya was trying to plant the drone uh, to say, so yeah, he's trying to plant an evolution shape. So he's taking the weak drones. I like this play. He's taking the weak drones and using them to build buildings to regenerate the health. So he's technically lost three drones, but not really because one of them is becoming an evolution chamber that he's planning on building anyway. Single Hydralisk out. That's going to go ahead and uh, actually canceling the evolution chamber uh, to follow. So it looks like two Wraith are out. Now we're seeing a control tower behind this. I'm again wondering if this is going to turn into vultures. Pecking away at this, but I think Jiraiya defending this pretty well. Some Zerglings getting picked off from the vultures, that, but Exit still hasn't taken his natural expansion. He's invested very heavily into the 111. Uh, let's see if he can keep these Wraith alive. He's definitely kept Jiraiya in more of a back foot, but Jiraiya's done a pretty good job macroing and defending behind this. It has halted a third base, but Jiraiya's still sitting at, uh, sitting at two versus just the single base comparatively. Mine's now being upgraded. Layer tech being upgraded for Jiraiya as well. So Exit, again, kind of showing some nice harassment. There's the dropship. I wish that dropship would have been the uh, initial build rather than kind of the follow-up. But you can see the vultures hanging out near that third. That could be the difference. Some Zerglings going ahead and running up. They're going to go check that natural expansion. They're going to find uh, that being built. And I think they're going to be able to sneak behind a lot of these troops. Actually, the Hydra is just straight up pulling out. So Jiraiya may be going to follow this up with not exactly a Hydra bus, but at least a Hydra attack. This might be sufficient against just Vultures. The Zerglings finding that natural expansion being built, two of them dying on the front, a second factory being plopped down. So Exit kind of shifting into more, rather than doing the shift back to Medic Marines, just going to do the attack. This SCV is going to die. That's going to slow down that command center drastically. And so Hydralisk sitting outside of the natural expansion, more moving in, but the Vultures at this stage dropping into the main, Halting that gas, getting a lot of kills. Does Jiraiya have the Hydralisks to deal with this? Just losing all sorts of the drones. The drones trying to peel back to that natural expansion. So it's attacks on both fronts. These Hydralisks here, pecking away. They're going to be able to kill that command center. I do not believe Exit canceled it in time. So economic damage on both sides. Additional mines being dropped. So the Hydralisks going to be able to clean things up at the natural expansion. But this natural expansion has been denied. And Jiraiya actually has a sizable amount of Hydralisks now. Planted at the natural expansion. It's anybody's game at this stage. I think Exit did enough damage to kind of equalize things. He does have a siege tank behind this. He's brought the, brought the dropship back. This still has not been scouted. So that's still going to be a factor in this match overall. But siege tech now up. The Hydralists don't have range, it looks like. So not quite able to pick off. I don't think they have range. Uh, not able to pick off that siege tank, at least in that attack. But there's going to be a spire follow-up. From Jiraiya. So if he pools enough gas, and it looks like he's pooling uh, gas now, with Exit building nothing but siege tanks, he has no anti-air. He's on one base. I don't even see a Marine. Okay, there's three Marines in the bunker. If he follows this up with five Mutalisks, those five Mutalisks could easily get into the main and do a nice uh, tech switch on Exit and really hurt him. The difference might be this comsat station i'm going to go ahead and reduce jiraiya's vision moment to see the comsat the comsat does catch the spire so now building the armory he needs to get an armory and an engineering bay also he has that command center up he needs to make something happen he's moving these two siege tanks out unfortunately that dropship might fly right above some hydralisks taking some damage is this even going to make it he's trying to flee and he needs to not lead it into the starport so that might be a, a brief moment, but some Hydralisks have been built. They're moving their way forward. And I don't see any Goliaths on the ground. They're going to engage that dropship. So that siege tank very rapidly going to get picked off. Jiraiya's like, forget that. That wasn't, I think that was mostly a delay tactic from Exit's part anyway. But I don't think he has anything for these Mutalisks. The armory's not even finished. The engineering base just finishing and the Mutalisks are already more than halfway to his base. Just to cap things off, Jiraiya also taking that 6 o'clock location, pressing forward, and there's GG from Exit. So Exit trying to get creative, and Jiraiya punishing for it. So now, officially, we can say Exit moving to the loser's bracket, where he's going to end up facing the winner of Master Ray versus, or sorry, the loser of Master Ray versus Kiko. We'll move on to those matches momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.